In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a contact form in the sidebar of a WordPress website. I've just installed this website and it has the default theme, the 2011 theme, and also default content. I haven't changed anything at all. And in this video, I'm going to show you in real time how to insert the form so there's no editing at this end you will literally see how long it takes so first of all we will go into our dashboard as we have to install a contact form plugin we go over to the left to our plugins section and click on installed plugins and you will see that we have the three default plugins here ready to go. I haven't activated any of them but we'll add a new plugin by clicking here then click on popular as I know that the plugin I'm looking for is one of the most popular plugins available and it's contact form 7 that I'm looking for here it is. I'll click on details first and we can see that this plugin has been downloaded over 6 million times. It is compatible with the latest version of WordPress and the developer last updated it 21 days ago. So we know the developer is on top of his game so we can install this plugin right now. It just takes a few seconds for all of the files to be unpacked and then click on activate plugin you'll see it's now been added to the other three plugins that we have yet to activate click on settings and here we have the content that will make up our contact form so the customer or the site visitor will enter their name their email address, the subject, the message itself and there will also be a send button to click and in this instance the email that's generated will come through to me ian at davcomedia.co.uk To illustrate how you can change the size of the contact form in the sidebar first of all we will install this in a standard page so copy the code here this is the default code generated by this contact form plugin I'm going to go to the home page of my sample site and add another page here and call it contact so go back up to the top hover over new and click on page to insert a new page and call this page just call it contact I can now simply paste the code from the contact form and click on publish take a look at the page and there it is our contact form nicely placed on the contact page your name your email subject and your message and then send so if we decide that we want to have um, this contact form in the sidebar of our website let's have a look at the home page first so we want to place it in this area here okay first of all I will go into our widgets panel in the dashboard and you'll see currently in our sidebar we have four widgets search recent posts categories and meta I don't want any of these but maybe I'll, I'll leave recent posts in this sidebar but I'm going to get rid of all of the others by dragging and dropping them over in the available widgets area so meta has gone categories has now gone 
and search has gone as well. So I can now insert my contact form in the sidebar. To do that, I drag a text widget over to the sidebar and drop it in place. The text widget is totally underused. You can use the text widget for, for so much. You can even insert video in this area as well if you wish. Anyhow, in this instance, we'll call it contact form. and paste the code that we copied earlier. All I need to do now is click Save. Wasn't that easy? However, if I take us to the home page and scroll down, yes, we have our recent posts widget there and we have our contact form here. Problem, it's too wide. It's too wide for our sidebar. So we need to change the width so that it fits nicely in that area. And I notice I've spelt contact, contact form wrong here. Oh well, we'll have to live with that. So to do that, go back to the dashboard and then plugins, install plugins and click on settings. And there is our current form by default called contact form one. Now, if we were to edit this, if we made it narrower, the contact form on our contact us page would also be narrower. So what we will actually do is create a new contact form by clicking on add new here and click on add new again. And then give our new contact form a title. Uh, I'm going to call it narrow sidebar form. You can see I've created one before which is why uh, that sort of filled itself in automatically and then click on save. All we need to do now is change these parameters and to do that if I click here or even here, type in a space, then the number 25 and a forward slash. And I follow that pattern in all of these fields here. and then press save again. So you can see in each case, I've added 25 forward slash, 25 forward slash and so on, and click on save as I said. We can now copy this code, go over to our widget area, in our text widget, replace the one that we put in earlier with the new sidebar contact form. Click on save. Go to our home page and there it is. Fits in nicely in our sidebar. We'll just check and make sure that it's working. There we have confirmation that the message was sent successfully. So that's it. That's how to insert a contact form in the sidebar of a WordPress website. It doesn't matter which theme you're using. 
providing your theme has a sidebar, you can insert a contact form. If you still find that it's too wide or indeed too narrow, just go back in there and change the numbers. I, I put in 25 and then a forward slash, but you may experiment. You may find 30 forward slash or 15 forward slash, whichever suits your theme. Thanks for watching.